All right, hello everybody, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving. I'm not sure exactly when anybody will watch this. Uh, but uh, today, I actually am going to start going through my gear that I carried on the Appalachian Trail through hike. And I'm going to start off today with uh, my pack. My pack was the Arc Blast but from z -Packs. And a lot of people have said some good things about it. And a lot of people have said some bad things about it. And I'm going to go over my experience with it. The z -Packs Arc Blast is, is a pack that's super lightweight. There's very few packs out there that are any lighter that you can through hike with. And uh, all in all, I'm going to give it a, a serious thumbs up. The pack did everything I expected it to. Now I have tried on other packs and stuff like that and I will admit that the Z-Packs Arc Blast is probably not the most comfortable pack that you're going to get. But what you gain in, in the weight that uh, it is you know, it's a pound less than a lot of packs that are out there. Uh, you've got to decide whether that's for you or that's not for you. Uh, people have talked about the customer service with Z-Packs. I am very fortunate in the fact that I live in Titusville, Florida. Z-Packs is in Melbourne, Florida. It's about a 30 minute drive for me. It's probably less than that. So the truth is, is contacting them, you have to contact them through email. If you have an issue out on the trail, uh, you can send them an email they usually get back to you within the next day but you know you have an issue and you're not going to get your pack back you know they're not going to send you a loaner pack uh, they might be able to send you if you send them a picture of the problem you're having with they might be sending you a replacement part but if your pack is uh, compromised to the point where you need a new pack you know you're not going to be getting that in a, a day or two it's not going to happen uh, but after my I did have some issues with my pack as the time went on. I had about 80 miles to go. And this part of my pack, right down in here, the actual belt had, had almost torn off. And the pack had worn almost a hole right in this area right here from just the rubbing over a period of time. Uh, rather than send my pack in completely to have a whole new belt, put on and that sort of thing I had I was in Maine I had about 80 miles to go I just tied or duct taped duct tape it to the frame right here and made it those last few miles and when I got back I took the pack down to Z-Packs drove it down there uh, showed them the issue the Z-Packs my pack was actually out of warranty and they went ahead and took it in and completely fixed it. The repairs they made on it, you might not be able to see it, but there is a actual whole new piece of Cuban fiber they placed in here where this was worn out. They gave me a completely new belt strap and my uh, webbing on the back in this part right here had actually torn and they gave me a completely new webbing there. I had a couple of small holes in my webbing on the back and they gave me new webbing and this is actually better than the stuff that my pack came originally with. So this, from last year's pack to this year's pack, they've improved this netting on the back and also the net webbing on the, uh, the part that goes up against your back. So that's pretty exciting. Once you get the, uh, the fit on your pack dialed in, then this pack is much more comfortable. It took fresh ground showing me a few things about uh, the, the load lifters on the top and things like that on how they worked to get my pack dialed into where it was in a, uh, in a perfect position on my back to where it, it helped. Uh, like I said earlier, it's not the most comfortable pack in the world. If I had to do it over again, yes, I would definitely recommend this pack but I would probably go with the Arc Hall, which is a little bit bigger. Understanding that I left in February and dealt with huge amounts of weather, so I had to carry a lot of extra clothes. And with three to five days of food in this pack, along with all the clothing that I had, it, it barely fit. I actually had to, at one point, take my sleeping pad and carry it on one of the outside drink pockets or bottle pockets to 
be able to fit everything in my pack and roll it down. Another thing that I really like about this pack is the roll top. The roll top uh, gives you extra room to fit stuff in, and as long as you roll it over about one time, you can see here it just velcro closed. If you can get one good roll on it like that, and then clip it in, then that thing is secure. Now, they say it's waterproof, and I will admit that I would, we wouldn't have taken this and dumped it in a lake, but I will say this, I went through a lot of rain and went through a lot of snow, and never did any water get into my pack. The only time water got into my pack is if I had to pack a wet tent or whatever it may be, and water got in because I had to put it inside the pack. So, uh, for me, it was waterproof. I didn't, it eliminated me having to carry a pack cover, which is another super bonus to the pack. Now, in closing, oh, another thing I want to, I got, it's another thing they replaced for me, and I wasn't even expecting that. There was just a couple of little small holes in the bottom, but I got one uh, pouch, uh, belt pouch on the side, and I used it to carry a few things. The zippers are not real easy to get open and close. You kind of have to use two hands to do it. Uh, whether I would recommend that or not, nah, I would recommend one. That's just a personal preference thing, whether you want, uh, want that. I carried uh, my blister pads and... What else did I carry in there? A body glide. The uh, I had a pair of sunglasses in there. Nothing, uh, you know, just a couple of extra things that you might need to get to. I didn't carry food in, in these packs, and part of the reason is is they weren't easy to get to. You know, around the side, uh, I've got a bad shoulder. <clears throat> Reaching around to unpull it and all that stuff, I just put food in my pockets. You know, I had uh, pants with pockets, and I would just put food in pockets. Did learn one quick thing about putting foods in pockets, though, is as you get a little further up the trail and the and the weather changes, then uh, you don't want to put Snickers bars in your pocket or anything chocolate. <laughs> but if it's cold, you can put anything you want to in there. Uh, in closing, you know, like I said, I would recommend this pack. Uh, I would tell you this: if you are through hiking, then you're looking to save weight, or at least if you're in the same situation I am with two knee surgeries. Uh, you know, and some, and some sh shoulder surgery, some issues. Every, every bit of weight counts. And if you can shave a pound, a half a pound off of your weight by just using, just changing your pack, like I said, it's personal preference, but for me, it was worth the, what I would, I wouldn't say discomfort because it wasn't discomfortable, but less comfortable than something like an Osprey or a Gregory or a, uh, some of these other packs that I've tried on. So I was willing to deal with less comfort to be able to get the less weight on my body. And as you continue up the trail and your knees and your body and you know everything starts to hurt. I'm getting bugged here by the puppy. But uh, as you get further up the trail, uh, every step, every ounce counts. And for me, the lighter I could be, the better I was. So, if you're through hiking, then it is definitely a good choice. For a, a section hike or a week-long hike or whatever like that, I would probably, if that, I was just going to be a section hiker or a week or two long hiker, I would probably go with an Osprey, uh, just for the comfort factor and knowing that uh, you're not going to be hauling it 2,200 miles. So, that's uh, what I have to say about the Z-Pax Arc Blast pack they worked it worked phenomenal for me and until the very end like I said it, uh, it wore out and it's an expensive pack so you've got to weigh you know the expense the weight that you're going to uh, lose by carrying that pack and the comfort and if you can do those three things uh, then it's it could be the pack for you so what's been going on with me give me just a second Come on. Oh, this little monster right here is our new puppy. So she is a Great Dane and she is eight weeks and three days old and she has taken up a lot of our time, but uh, we are gonna have fun with her. 
I'm going to try to bring her out on the trail a little bit this coming year when I do some trail magic with fresh ground and uh, do a little hiking. We'll see how all that goes. But uh, I'm actually thinking, taking a lot of video, I'm thinking about actually starting another YouTube channel. Her name is Bella, and she is taking over the last week of our life. <laughs> <laughs> but I had enough time to do this video now that I finally got all my gear back I'm going to continue to do uh, videos I think next I'll do the Z-Pax duplex tent which I used and uh, Z-Pax did right by me at least on, on this pack when I took it into them and my tent and we'll go through that in the next video so I hope everybody's doing okay and happy Thanksgiving